and welcome to Art Cadets. I'm really excited today because it's the first video we're doing and today we will be stone painting. So let's begin. All you need for this project is a stone, either paints and water or felt tips. I tend to use acrylic paints because they dry really quickly and they mix really nicely and are really bright. So first of all I'm going to do some felt tips in this example on this stone which, when I look at it, I thought, hmm, that looks rather like a turtle. Because you can see the shape there that I'm going to make into a turtle. So, what I'm going to do first is pick a black felt tip just to do the outline. Let's draw his nice shell. Let's see, I'm following the line on the stone. It's already given us a hint. Okay, and then we're going to do him some feet. And a neck. Not sure what that bit's going to be. That might be his other foot. And I don't think we're going to go right down because I'm not going to see him otherwise. There he is, that's the outline. So I think we'll give him some nice patterns. It might help if you want to have a look at some images in some magazines or, um, or Google or something to get the idea of what you're going to draw. You can do anything you like. You probably had a really hard week at school. So I thought it would be nice to do something relaxing, because I think it is quite relaxing. How's that look? Okay. So then I'm going to draw a little eye. Looks like that. I'm going to leave a little white bit. And maybe a little mouth on there as well. Okay. So I think I'm going to draw that there, just because that's his foot from the other side. You see how we've made that shape? Because we've used literally what was on the stone in the first place. It's quite effective. So now we just need to pick some colours. I think I'm going to do his body in a nice bright green. Like that. You could even do um, a theme. So you could do either some beach ones, being that it is beachy weather at the moment. We could do animals, we could do flowers, anything you like really. Nice to have smooth stones, some of them can be a bit chalky, but it's better for your felt tips if you don't have anything too chalky. There we go. Doesn't take long either, does it? So that's his body done. Should we do that big green? Okay. And what about his shell? Well, we could do a nice dark green. Nearly there. Felt tips are quite good because you can actually take them down to the beach and do them sitting on the sea. Sure. There we go. You don't have to be stuck inside on a sunny day, you can take it all with you. So I think I might do these nice yellows, it's super bright. And there we are. 
Mr. Turtle. You can also add in some sky or something else if you like, maybe a little butterfly at the top. And if you really want to make it stand out, you could varnish it at the end. I did get some varnish, but I haven't used it yet. And I think you just apply this with paint and wait for it to dry. But do be careful, maybe a grown-up might need to help you with that. Okay, the other thing you can do is, if you wanted to use it as an ornament, you could put a piece of felt on the bottom and stick it with PVA glue so it doesn't ruin the surface of your table or your sideboard. Okay, now we're going to do one with paint. So now we're going to do one with paint. So I've got another stone here and this one's fairly plain um, so I thought we'd make it bright by doing a caterpillar, a fairly simple caterpillar. Um, I've chosen a variety of different colours and you can do the same. So I wet my brush slightly and all I'm going to do is go in and draw some little circles. I always choose red first. Right, so we're going to do a little circle in here. Like that. might need to push it in sometimes because the stones aren't always smooth. And there we go, there's the first bit of our caterpillar. Looks like a big red eye. We wash our brush, make sure it's clean for the next colour. And we're going to go into the yellow. Let's try and get another nice circle. You do dry fairly quickly. I'm going to like to go over that one with two layers because it's a bit. A bit right, next colour is brown. Don't worry if you're making mistakes either because sometimes it can lead to something good. And you can always correct them by painting on top of them. After they've dried. Okay, I'm going to do the last colour now as blue. A very bright caterpillar. Okay. So that's my caterpillar done. And what I sometimes do, once that's dry, is go back with my Sharpie. I would advise you wait till it's dry though. And draw a little eye on there. So perhaps we'll move it. That. And caterpillars have lots of little feet, don't they? So. And there he is. Okay, so that's that done for the minute. Once it's dry, you can uh, outline the whole thing with black because that's quite an effective thing to do. And as I said, if you want to varnish it, you can varnish it too. There we are. 
So now we've done those, I thought I'd show you a couple of stones that I've done previously, just to give you some examples of what you might want to do. Um, I did an Art Cadets one, okay, and that's using paint, so you can write on them, and I've outlined that one in white just to make it a bit more effective. I might even varnish that one because it's quite fun. Um, as I said, also you can do some animals. Here's one my daughter did, uh, a pig. And this one here is an example of where I painted it first and then did the outline. So some funky beach huts. Um, we've got a message on that stone that says love, if you can see that one. And this one's a bit funny because I thought this looks like the shape of a foot. So we've got a stone foot. Because I like to look at the different shapes of the stones, as I said before, see what I can see in it and see what it looks like. So that might also give you some inspiration. And last of all, a snail. And he's got some gold and bronze sharpies on there just to make it glow in the dark, I suppose. Right, so that's those. Please, if you've done any and you would like to show me, I'd love to see them. Um, just send them by email. There's a link under the channel bar. And maybe even I'll get to show you some of what everyone else has done next week. So, Arcadets, I hope you've enjoyed today. If you have, please like and subscribe below. I'll be doing a new video every Friday. And before I go today, I'll be telling you what you need for next week. We are going to be doing colour mixing, so you'll need some paints, a paper plate, one of these little paper fasteners that splits like that, a piece of modelling clay or Play-Doh, and a small piece of card. So join us then. See you next time, cadets.